Hi everybody, welcome to today's video, five tips for reducing your home buying costs. In at number one, negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. In today's market, it makes sense to get the property for as keen a price as you can to make sure that you maximize the amount of money that you've got reserved for doing those important home improvements afterwards and a bit more on that later. Let me first mention that we've recently been featured in Forbes magazine on how to get on the property ladder. Link to that in the description below. In this situation, what else can you do? Well at number two, and because we're stamp duty advisors, I would say check your stamp duty. Over 40% of all estimates of stamp duty are wrong. Indeed, they often to lead to wrong calculations and wrong payment of SDLT. Don't rely on HMRC's calculator or any other online tool you see. Make sure that you avail yourself of the advice of a specialist so that you're sure that you're claiming all the available reliefs, that you're classifying the property correctly, and that you don't end up paying away valuable cash, which you then have to try and reclaim later, which could take months. At number three, Use the right solicitor. Why is this important? Some solicitors will calculate your stamp duty accurately and indemnify it. Most won't. A lot of solicitors these days sell on price rather than quality of service. And whilst that might be appealing in terms of saving costs, it also means that in some cases, your purchase is delayed, leading to stress and frustration. And indeed, ultimately, the property purchase may fall through. So be careful to be unsure that your solicitor is charging you a fee, but is aware of the timelines and the kind of completion dates that you want to work to before making your final choice. Save, save and save again. The more deposit you can put down, the less you have to borrow. The less you have to borrow, the lower your mortgage payments and the faster you can pay that mortgage off if you're on a repayment mortgage. Are you a property developer or investor? Have you paid stamp duty in the last four years? You could be eligible for a full or partial refund from HMRC. We've reclaimed over £12 million in the last 12 months. Contact us today. Increasing your deposit from 10% to 15 or even 20% if you can afford it, maybe by taking an advance on your inheritance from your parents or your grandparents, will significantly reduce your monthly outgoings and increase the likelihood of you getting a valid mortgage offer. And lastly, and not least, when you have made that purchase, think about refurbishing and not replacing. You might like the idea of a brand, glossy brand new kitchen that you see on those TV adverts, but very often kitchen units can be refaced and repainted Areas can be cleaned down, including steam cleaning if you're particularly concerned. Carpets can be cleaned. And a lick of paint on old furniture can produce some wonderfully stylish effects. You don't have to buy new. And that could save you thousands on outfitting a house, particularly if it's going to be your first home. Think shabby, think creatively, and you could save yourself thousands on your home buying budget. Well, that's about all I've got to say on the point. What's your experience on saving costs when moving or buying your first home? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, please click like, please click subscribe, and uh, we'll be notifying you of more updates on this and other property and property tax related topics in the future. Once again, I've been David Hanna for Cornerstone Tax SDLT Refunds. Thanks for listening.